Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Nate here, and I hope you're all enjoying the launch of iOS 5 today. In this video, we're going to be taking a second look at Newsstand because in my previous videos, I was unable to demo it for you completely since Apple hadn't made it available to developers yet. So let's go ahead and open up Newsstand now. And you're gonna notice that it looks very similar to the way iBooks does. You've got your wooden bookshelf here, and you've even got that Apple logo there at the top. So if you wanna open up the Newsstand store, simply select the store icon right here, and it'll bring you into the App Store, but a section that's been made specifically for magazine subscriptions. So downloading a new magazine is as easy as downloading an app. Simply select it and install it, and it'll be downloaded right into this folder for you. So you don't have to worry about any apps or anything like that. Nothing else is being downloaded. It all takes place in the newsstand folder. Additionally, whenever publishers put out a new magazine, they're going to be put uh, downloaded automatically into this folder, so you don't have to worry about going to newsstand or checking for updates. Lastly, I just wanted to mention that deleting a magazine is as easy as deleting an app. Simply hold down, select the X, and choose delete. So that has been a look at Newsstand and the new updates that came with it today. If you want to see all the new features coming in iOS 5, be sure to check out my iOS 5 overview by clicking the annotation in this video. Other than that, please like it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.